Hello everybody. Today we will be studying about antigen antibody reactions. I have already told about what are antigens and what are antibodies. And if anyone has any further confusion, you can go to my previous lectures where I have defined antigen and antibodies. Today we are focusing on reaction between antigen and antibodies, or you can also call as interactions between antigen and antibody. Just a small reminder that an antigen's unit, um, unit site, that means the site where antigen will react with antibody is called epitope, and the site where an antibody will react with an antigen is called paratope. So usually it's the binding between epitope and paratope that interaction is going to take place. Uh, why uh, this antigen antibody reactions we are studying because they are the rapid method of diagnosis or detection of organism causing infection. Uh, these days you may have heard about uh, you may have heard about um, uh, rapid antigen test during Corona. So uh, it's one of the method by which you can diagnose and it's very rapid. It can be done on a card on a it's a chromatography can be done. So uh, this uh, order in a gel, this can be performed. It's a rapid method and you can diagnose the organism. So this method can either detect antigen or antibody. So as the rule applies, one will be known and other will be unknown. And since uh, they have uh, antigen will interact with antibodies, so you can det determine the whether the particular antigen or antibody is uh, present or not in a test system. And when this is test is performed in in vitro, this test is known as serological test. It's very high, uh, highly sensitive and specific to the factors which are affecting antigen antibody interactions or reactions are affinity. Affinity is the attraction which uh, epitope have towards the paratope. Remember that epitope paratope, that is epitope is the unit site where an antigen binds to an antibody and paratope is a site where an antibody will bind to a specific antigen. So this antigen antibody reaction is going to take place when there is some attraction, chemical attraction between the epitope and a paratope. This, this is suppose epitope is an antigen and this is a paratope. So this binding will take place, this interaction will happen only when they have certain kind of attraction, affinity towards each other. But this bonding is not a covalent bond. If we go into a bit details in the chemistry, if you remember, covalent bond is sharing and there is a strong bond. While in this case, there is just attraction, Wonder Wall's attraction or a simple attraction uh, in which weak attractions, hydrogen bonds like this, there is a simple attraction in it. It's not strong bonds. So these bonds are reversible too. While another factor which is responsible, uh, which affect this interaction is one is affinity. So they should have attraction towards each other. Second is avidity. Now, what is avidity and what is affinity? When uh, attraction of a paratope towards the epitope or an epitope towards the paratope is affinity. But total number of epitopes attracted towards total number of paratopes. That means full, if we consider the whole antigen and whole antibody reaction and number of bonds that, that number of uh, uh, reversible uh, bonds, that is, that means not strong bonds, but number of bonds they together make that gives the strength to the whole um, antigen and antibody reaction. So full antigen when considered and the antibody together, not a single antigen, uh, not, not a single epitope or paratope. Full antigen and full antibody reaction gives a, a different kind of strength. And that strength total together, every strength comes, we study under avidity. So avidity is num n number of bonds together give a strength. And that strength is avidity, while attraction towards a paratope and epitope is affinity. Uh, coming to the third factor, that is antigen antibody ratio, that is also very important. They, if they are present in equal amounts, it gives a good uh, strength, uh, number of bonds, and that reaction can be read. And in equal concentrations, it's a very good reaction. Uh, we will be reading it how this uh, 
ratio part we will be reading while we are discussing different types of antigen antibody reactions yeah physical form of antigen is also very important because a denatured antigen that is a broken antigen will be more effective uh, it, uh, it because uh, only the reaction between antigen and antibody takes place on the surface part it is not uh, in the internal parts will not take uh, antigen antibody reaction uh, take part in antigen antibody reactions i hope i am clear that a particulate antigen will be more effective than a soluble antigen so physical form of antigen is also very important that is a particulate antigen will be more effective than a soluble antigen while a denatured antigen will be more effective in producing uh, antigen antibody reactions Uh, what are the different characteristics of antigen antibody interactions or reactions these reactions are specific that means a particular uh, paratope will be having attraction towards a particular specific uh, antigen um, uh, that is the epitope so paratope will be having an attraction towards specific uh, epitope which has a uh, epitope and paratope are the chemical structures so two have to fit in together however in some cases cross reaction may occur where antigen uh, has a chemical structure two antigens having similar chemical structures so there can be a cross reaction um but usually these bonds are specific antigen antibody bonding are specific entire molecule of antigen and antibody react together it's not in fragments and as i have told only the surface of antigen participates in antigen antibody reaction and this reaction is firm there is an attraction evidently there it's firm reaction but it is reversible it is like uh, in chemistry if you have read that law of mass action so in law of mass action we say that concentration of antigen uh, concentration of reactants is proportional to concentration of products right so and um, when we uh, take out a k constant it is pro k is equal to uh, concentration of product upon concentration of each reactant so it follows the same law same rule that is the law a law of mass action and this reaction is also reversible because law of mass action applies to reversible reactions so this reaction is also reversible uh what are the different types of antigen antibody reactions that is very important these reactions are the reactions which reactions which we can perform in vitro and see whether uh, one of them will be unknown so we will put a unknown sample in a known sam uh, material and we are going to detect one or the other so uh, different antigen antibody reactions i will today i will just name them one is precipitation test it's a detailed test it, it has different uh, types in it um, which uh, different ways to perform precipitation test uh, that we will be reading in further lectures today we are going to discuss the just the names that is one of them is precipitation test other is agglutination test uh, next is complement fixation test neutralization test immunofluorescence test elisa test these are the different types of antigen antibody reactions each one we will be reading in detail um, um going into the before going into the details of each uh, test that we uh, that i have discussed before because i will be taking each test differently in different classes uh few things which we should know before discussing those precipitation neutralization complement fixation all the the kinds of or the types of antigen antibody reactions we should know certain phenomena that is the pro zone phenomena pro zone as the uh, this word signifies pro that is before the zone what is it when it is like when same amount of antibody is mixed with different concentrations of antigen that means we are uh putting different concentration of uh, antigens either in increasing order or in decreasing order we are putting different concentrations of antigen and we are adding same concentration of antibody so the uh, where the concentration of antibody is less than antigen or where the concentration of antigen is more than antibody those at the, that places there the, there will be no uh, characteristic reaction which can be observed by us uh, why because it has a different mechanism we will be reading mechanism in the next slide but what happens in prozone phenomena that means wherever the concentration of one or the other is more than 
is not equal when two antigen antibody antigen and antibody together are not in equal concentration there will be no reaction no characteristic that we can read that reaction so uh, prozone phenomena is the zone which uh, where there is no reaction between antigen and add. it is not showing characteristic effect that means no observable readable reaction is seen that is prozone phenomena then comes the zone of equivalency there that is the place where the concentration becomes equal and we see the characteristic feature of the reaction that means the reaction becomes readable and observable so zone of equivalence and prozone phenomena are the things which we should know before reading the types of uh, antigen antibody reactions mechanism of precipitation and agglutination reaction are almost the same uh, the, the, there is what is the difference between precipitation uh, test and agglutination test that we will be reading while we are uh, reading about precipitation test here today in this last slide i will tell you the mechanism that is the lattice phenomena uh, you must have read about lattices in your 12th class when you are studying coordination chemistry, coordination bonds. So when a lattice is formed, you can observe that. And uh, this lattice phenomena was proposed by Marek. It is when multivalent antigen combines with bivalent antibody. Now, antigen can have hundreds of uh, reactive sites, that is epitome. But we know that usually um, antibody is either bivalent or IgM is pentavalent. So you, we can add in this slide as multivalent antigen combined with bivalent or pentavalent antibody. When this happens and when the concentration are equal, uh, they settle in for they form a lattice kind of thing which is observable. In case of precipitation, we will call it as, as a precipitate. In case of agglutination, we are call, calling it as an agglutinate that occurs and we are able to observe it and we can read the reaction so precipitation and agglutination reaction have same mechanism that is they follow lattice phenomena so here i end this class today uh, today i only discussed about different kinds of um, anti antigen antibody interactions and how they uh, affect us uh, uh, how these reactions are important in diagnosing different uh, organisms that we will be reading as we will reach each uh, as we will be reading each different types of antigen antibody reaction thank you so much